how to use simple moving average. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most common indicators, which is the moving average. So in this video, we'll talk about how do you use the 20 moving average, okay? The simple moving average. So if you are new to trading and you do not know what the moving average is, it is actually a line, okay? There's this line here you can see, okay? So how do you actually determine uh, this line, okay? If you were to use this trading view and you insert a simple moving average, right? MA stands for moving average. Then you'll be prompted to uh, input certain values. So let me just go through with you uh, each of these values. So you have the length. So the length is basically uh, how many bars do you want to consider, right? How many... Uh, higher bars you want to use into the calculation. So a moving average essentially plots the average price for the last X number of candles. So in this case, if you do 20, that means that you are trying to calculate the average price of the previous 20 candles. So it's pretty straightforward, okay? So a common value that uh, most people teach, right? If you watch YouTube videos or if you were to uh, go on to, uh, you know, read trading books, you'll see that the uh, average value is normally 20. A uh, reason for 20 is because uh, tw there are about 20 trading days in a given month, okay? Now we talk about source, okay? Source means uh, which uh, like price point you want to use to calculate the average price, okay? So a close means that you are using the closing price of the candle. Okay, of course, you can choose the open, the high, the low, right? But uh, the most common one would be the close. Okay, that means we are using the previous 20 candle closes, right, to plot uh, this line. Okay, uh, offset, you don't really need to know. Okay, I won't really cover this because it's not really used at all. Okay, so this is how a, a, a simple moving average looks like. So you can see that it, it kind of lag price behind. I mean, it will definitely lag price behind because... Uh, it's using past price data, right? So you, it's not a crystal ball into the future, but it's a good, uh, you know, it's a good indicator, okay? So how do you use the moving average? Okay, the first thing that a moving average tells you is actually it tells you the trend or rather the uh, market condition, okay? So let me just show it to you. So if the uh, moving average is sloping down, then uh, we are in a bearish trend. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, the moment price cuts above, okay, and you know, starts sloping up, it tells you that we are in an uptrend, okay? So if you are a new trader and you know, you're, you're still struggling to uh, identify the current trend of the market, right, then uh, this moving average is a very, very useful tool for you because you're able to uh, tell the whether it's in a bullish trend or in a bearish trend easily, right? It's very visual. Okay, the other thing about this moving average is so whenever you see, you know, price flirting around, you know, up and down around uh, this, uh, the moving average, uh, it shows that the market is kind of like in a consolidation, okay? So just using this uh, simple moving average, you can tell three things, right? You can tell whether the market is, is it trending? If it's trending, is it, you know, bullish or bearish? And you can also tell whether um, is price in a consolidation, okay? The next use of the moving average, uh, which some people know, but not a lot of people know, is that uh, it acts as a dynamic, I can't really spell today, let me, okay. Okay, acts as dynamic support and resistance. So if you look over here, um, you, you can see over here that uh, the moving average was uh, actually a resistance zone, right? Over here, you can also see that, uh, you know, it was broken and retested, okay? But do note that this is not always, uh, you know, this is not always true, okay? Which is why uh, a lot of people get it wrong, you know? When they use moving average, they say, oh, I'm using this moving average trading strategy, and they just simply, you know, oh, uh, the trend is down, I'll sell here, you know, I'll sell here, you know? That, that's not a trading strategy, okay? Just a disclaimer, uh, moving average is not a trading strategy that you trade okay it's used as a confirmation it's used as confluence right confluence means that you align different factors together to arrive at a trading decision okay it's not a system on its own you if you just go and you know every um, every single uh, moving average for example every single time it touches you buy or sell uh, you're going to lose money because uh, trading is not so simple you need to identify the 
a context. So for example, if you're uptrend, if you're in uptrend, right, then you definitely want to buy pullbacks towards the uh, moving average. And of course, you also want to align um, the moving average with a uh, prior horizontal support and resistance level. Okay, that's just one of the ways you can trade it. But never ever, you know, um, just trade moving average just based on uh, you know, just the moving average. Okay, you're going to blow your account like this. Okay, so that's the second use of a uh, moving average. So it can act as a dynamic support and resistance level, which you can use in confluence with uh, horizontal levels. Okay, so these are the two ways to use the moving average. Okay, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, if you're still struggling, right, you're a new, new trader, you're a beginner, make sure you download a copy of our day trading guide. Okay, we have a link in the description. Okay, our day trading guide is free. Okay, we teach you how to identify candlesticks, you know, we teach you a strategy that actually works. Okay, that is the right way to approach the market, right? Uh, understanding the context, right, and looking for levels and looking for confirmation of the levels, okay, not just, you know, throwing in an indicator and expecting that, you know, uh, price will just bounce off the indicator like clockwork, okay, trading is not so simple, so make sure you download a copy of our day trading guide, okay, if you have any questions, uh, please comment down below, right, uh, I'll see you in the next video.